What is going on, Nate Up Gang? I hope that everybody has been getting out there, catching some big bass. I know that it just rained here, so I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm gonna be having some muddy water for the next week or so, but that's not gonna stop us. We're actually out here filming a banger video right now that is actually going to drop on Saturday. So you boys go ahead and subscribe. That way you'll get to see that video on Saturday as well. In today's episode, I actually got to go fishing in one of my favorite fishing spots. It's a creek. It's very clear, very shallow. I mean, I caught a couple of fish in just a couple inches of water. I mean, it, it was crazy. So much fun. Got to catch some good good sized fish not any giants no eight pounders but some good sized fish for sure my gopro did end up screwing up on me it was kind of like turning on turning off you'll see i mentioned it a couple times in the video but i actually just got in a gopro 8 which i'm so excited i'm actually using that to film today i'm so excited to have that gopro 8 in i know i've been putting it off getting a new camera but i finally got one i'm super excited so hopefully all the videos from now on are going to be amazing quality and they're going to be the best possible videos for all of you guys as a lot of you like to say in the comments stop talking and get to fishing that's what i'm gonna go ahead and do hope you guys enjoyed today's video go ahead leave a big old thumbs up if you like this video and be sure to go ahead hit that freaking subscribe button let's get it let's go catch some bass oh that's a good one right there all right boys we see our first bass i actually just saw my friend john from high school that's pretty freaking cool john if you're watching this that's freaking cool seeing you dude but we're gonna see if we can catch this little bass right here. It's actually the afternoon right now. The wind has been blowing very, very hard all day. So we're just gonna see what we can do. Might be a little bit difficult. I did see a fish swimming around right here. He does look like he's on a bed. So we'll see if we can get this one. It's definitely on a bed. I got a little wacky rig on right now. I don't know if he's gonna go for it or not on that bed it's about a two pounder two and a half pounder though good fish for sure i was a little scared this water wouldn't be clear but it's pretty clear down here it really is i don't know if she's gonna go after the sinko oh she's back on it oh she's looking at it she's looking at it for sure All right, let's change up baits real quick. Let's put something on this bait caster. I don't want to waste too much time. We gotta catch a couple before it gets dark. Shaky head or a Texas rig, or maybe even a little belly weighted swim bait. What do we think about that? Belly weighted swim bait? Let's try that. All right, this should get it right here. This should get it done. Usually they cannot stand this thing. Might have to change up to the green, but we'll see. I think the white will work. Stand right here so she can't see me as good, hopefully. Uh oh. Does not like that. Oh, she's staying on the bed. Oh, she just she just hit it. Oh, she hit that thing. Oh, she's mad. I'm about to catch this fish. Oh gosh. That was crazy. All right, so what happened was I popped it right in front of her. She ended up eating it, but she didn't eat it all the way. But I really didn't have any option besides setting the hook. She'll come back and eat it again though. 100%, she'll come eat it again. Come on. Oh, she's gonna eat it. Oh my gosh, she just pecked it so hard. She is hot. Oh my gosh, come on baby. Come on baby. Come on. Oh, got it. Yes, sir. Oh, good fish right there. Good fish. All right, come here, baby. There we go. Check that one out. Check that one out. On that Six Sense Divine Swim Bit right there, the platinum white color. Smacking them. Smacking them. Been here for like five minutes, guys. Holy, that thing is in there too. Sheesh. There we go. Nice one right there. On that divine swim bait. We'll just weigh it just because. It's about a pound and a half or though. Nothing too special, but good fish for sure. Very, very active bed fish. 1.65. 
a little bit over a pound and a half. Not bad. Let's go ahead and get her back down here. Not a bad fish at all. There she goes. All right, we're gonna keep moving down. We gotta figure out a way to get there without getting wet. But we're gonna move around a little bit. See if we can't find any more. I can't see any more from right here. So we'll have to walk around. All right, I have to hurry up and catch this fish. My GoPro is acting really weird. It just turned off for no reason. It took me like five minutes to get it back on. So I need to hurry up and catch this one. Come on, eat it, sucker. Just eating it halfway every time. He's got the tail now. Just grabbed the tail, started pulling it out of the bed. Dad gum it. She had it pretty good that time. Had it pretty good. Mmm. She just ate it all the way. As soon as she eats it, she spits it right back out. That's the one issue I'm having. Dad gum it, dude. Alright, let's put on a crawl. I'm gonna put on a little, put a little prawn on there. See if he'll eat that. This spoon bait might just be too big. I mean, the fish can eat it, but it's not committing like I want it to. So maybe it'll eat the prawn. Oh, it's got it. It just carried it out of the bed completely. I probably could have caught it on that one. Probably could have. I don't know. It's hard to tell. It had it right there though. He's still in the bed after I just threw my rod in there. That's crazy. Got him. There we go. There we go. Got him finally. Nice healthy one. Gosh. Very chunky fish. Very stubby. Very stubby boy. Hey, finally got him. Took us a while. Took us a good little while, but it's just because he wouldn't eat it all the way. You know, he would eat half that bait, and then it would, he would just drop it. 1.67, a little bit bigger than that last one. Nice fish right there. Go ahead and put it back. So I finally got him on the Bluegrass Magic Prawn. Usually I would throw this on a shaky head or a Texas rig better yet, but I didn't want to retie, so I just put it on this belly weighted hook. And that worked for that fish on that bed, so I don't know. He was really going after this swim bait. You know, I tried this white first, and I started throwing this Bluegrass Magic, which is the ultimate bed fishing color. He started hitting this, but he wouldn't eat it all the way. He eventually ate this thing all the way. If you guys want to pick up any of these, look in the description down below. I've got all these linked down below. Get 10% off of my discount code. <clears throat> all right, there's multiple fish. I actually just spooked a bass. This is actually his bed right here, literally in this rock. It's a pretty good one too, but there is a couple fish. There's another one right there couple of fish spawning over here and then there's a couple that are just cruising around kind of like that guy right there there's a couple different ones that are just cruising those are gonna be hard to catch but if we can find any that are locked on those will be pretty easy and there is one right here that's coming back like it's gonna come back on this bed I don't know what it's doing though it wants to come back on it yeah it's right here yep there's a bass right here in front of me he sees me though. And there's also two right here in front of me as well. So many different fish. He's just getting them to eat something. My GoPro messed up again. Good thing I have a new one coming in tomorrow. But I think I got it to work again. I don't know, we'll have to see. Oh my gosh, she just nailed that thing so freaking hard. That was so aggressive. 
Oh, she's pissed. Eat it all the way. Oh, she just carried it off the bed. She didn't eat it all the way, though, so I couldn't catch her. She's coming back for it. Oh, she is so pissed, it is not even funny. I'm gonna catch it within five casts, guarantee. Probably gonna catch it on this cast if she'll turn back. She, she's swimming off here to the side. She's gonna come back on though, at least she should. Yep, she sees it, she's coming for it. Oh, just bumped her right in the tail. Oh, got him, got him that time. Oh my gosh, healthy fish, healthy fish. Please don't come off, baby. Please don't come off. Oh my gosh, I can't really grab it that good. There we go. Oh, that fish is back over there on that bed also. That fish is back on that bed, so we gotta hurry up and get this one unhooked so we can catch this one. Hopefully it'll stay on that bed. Look at how healthy that fish is though, oh my gosh. On that Six Sense Divine swim bait, look at that beautiful fish. Look at the colors on that girl. Oh my gosh. You cannot beat that. Let's go ahead and get the scale out. Get a weight on this one. This one right here is a very good fish. Let's see what she weighs. I think this is a good two and a half or right here. Very, very healthy. Yep, there we go. 2.29. So, two and a quarter. I said two and a half, but definitely a good fish that is such a beautiful bass oh my gosh look at the lateral line on that girl you cannot beat these river bass they're literally the most beautiful fish you can catch go ahead release her back check that out crystal crystal clear water just watch her swim right away usually i catch all of my spawning fish right here but i haven't actually looked out in this other part and not that many people actually come out here because it's hard to reach. You have to get in the water and get all wet and nasty. So maybe that's where there's gonna be some bigger fish that are spawning that haven't been caught. I really don't know, but we're gonna give it a shot, look around, see what we can find. A lot of bait fish, no bass that I can see yet, but there could definitely be some for sure. What is that to see? We got a couple bass right here. Nothing too big. There's a couple fish though. This bass is chasing my swim bait on the bottom right there. Literally just for the heck of it. I don't even think that's its bed. Could be. Oh my gosh, it just ate it. Are you serious? Maybe that is its bed. I might have just got lucky with that cast. Landed right on it. Because every time I cast there, he seems to come back right to it. He keeps going nose down. He wants to eat it. I think I can catch that one. I saw two more up here as well. Maybe his, I think I see his actual bed. He might just be super active, so he's trying to chase everything off. Let's drop it right there, see what it'll do. Or maybe that's his bed right there. Where he's sitting at. I dropped it right on his head right there. Oh yeah, he just went nose down and tried to eat it. My bait's like stuck. All right, I got it out. He was really trying to eat it. Yeah, she wants that thing. I just gotta land it in that perfect spot. This one's a pretty good one too, about a two pounder. got him oh my gosh might be bigger than two pounds holy crap yep definitely bigger than two pounds holy cow come here come here girl oh my gosh look at that one Whew, I did not think that fish was that big oh my gosh I have to be a little bit quiet I don't want to get my 
get my spots taken because there's so many people out here right now. Holy cow. Look at that one right there. Beautiful. Beautiful fish. Got a couple spots on her right there. You see those spots? And her tail is a little bit messed up. You can tell. Spawning fish all day long. See that chunk out of her tail. That's crazy. Let's get a weight on this girl too. See how much this one weighs. All right, I think I think it is probably about two pounds. Whenever it was moving, I thought that fish was way bigger. Very long fish. Very long. What are we looking at? 2.4? Yeah, 2.42. So almost a two and a half, a little bit bigger than that last one. Probably just because this fish is so long. Not as pretty as that last one, but hey, still a nice fish. Such a good fight. And that one didn't take near as long as that other one. That one happened really quick. Let's go ahead and get this girl back. All right guys, I actually just let that one go and I was not recording. I was too busy making a TikTok. Also, if you guys wanna follow me on the TikTok, I'll pop it up right here. You guys can go ahead, follow me on TikTok. I'm at like 100K on TikTok and I'm posting stuff on there most days of the week. So if you guys are on TikTok, be sure to go ahead and follow me on TikTok. Let's go ahead and get to catching another fish. That's two today, that was two yesterday. Let's see if we can get a couple more, maybe two or three more fish. Wacky rig. There we go. Yep. Nice little chunky one right there. Hey, if you want to be on the video, come here. Do you want to be in the video? Now that the fish. Y'all want to say hey? Hey! They, they wanted to be on the video, but that's a nice healthy fish right there. Mm-hmm. And y'all are going to go fishing tomorrow, right? Yep. They're going to go fishing tomorrow, hopefully catch something like this. Really? Gotta get this one unhooked though. They actually swallowed the hook. Really? Yeah. We can both hold him and then you got to go put him back. All right. I want to put him back this time. All right, grab him by the mouth. Uh, like this. Hold on tight. All right. And go. Let's All right, here. Go Just drop him in real gently right into the water. Real soft. There he goes. There he goes. You, go. you see him swimming right there? Yeah. yeah. There he goes. Yeah. Good job. Woo. All right. So now we are up here at this other spot, and there's actually a big one up here. I only see one fish so far. I filmed a video here a couple videos ago called, like, this tiny puddle is loaded with fish or something like that. And I caught a bunch in here. They just weren't super, super big. But this one right here is probably about four or five pounds. He looks very big. Looks very big. It keeps kind of just chilling in that tree right there though. I don't know where its bed is, but that's where it keeps staying at. I'm about to put on the white swim bait. There it is right there. Walk around to this other side. I'm just gonna watch it for a second and see what it does. That bed might be somewhere over there. I can't tell where the heck the bed is. So I think I figured out where he'll eat it and what. I wasn't getting any reaction out of it, but I actually saw it eat a crawfish. So I put on a stroker crawl, and then it went nose down on me. It didn't hit it, but it went nose down. 
the fish is not locked on at all so it's going to be very difficult to catch but it is a big one so we're going to try for a while but it keeps coming right over here to this spot and that's where it went nose down on me at he's coming right back to that same spot now might end up having to bump it in the side of the head with the crawl but it's definitely reacting to the crawl wasn't even paying any attention to that swim bait Oh my gosh. He just ate it. He just ate it finally. I figured out the right spot. He just ate it. I think I just figured it out. You just gotta keep it in that same spot just shake it came up and just sucked it down black and blue stroker crawl come on come back come back eat it Way too scared. Ain't no point. I'm gonna see if I can get this one in here. It's gonna be hard to get him. I know it's got to be sitting in there though. This right here, kids, is why you practice flipping. He's still sitting in there. Earlier he would swim off after like two seconds, but he's staying in there now. I wish I had a shaky head on, but I don't have enough time to put one on because he might swim off. Oh no, he just saw me. There he goes. Swimming out again. <sighs> yeah, this one right here is a lost cause. We're just going to have to go find some new ones. Alright guys, I've got a fish right here in this little puddle. And it's about a two, three pounder. I think it could be bigger. Um, but I just threw the green swim bait on there a little bit. The bluegrass magic. He was reacting to it, but he wouldn't eat it. And it's very hard for me to tell when he actually eats it all the way because there's shade all over here. It's actually about to be dark here in about probably 45 minutes to an hour. So I'm going to try throwing this white swim bait on. I've figured out where the fish's bed is at. So I should be able to catch it. But I don't know. We'll just have to see. It's very hard for me to see so I can't really see how the fish is reacting to it. So I'm kind of just living on a prayer right now. But I think that I might be able to get something going. At least I can see that white now. I just bumped him in the head. I think that's how I'm going to catch this one is bumping it. Every time I bump it, it always seems to react pretty good. I just want to catch this one last fish. Come on, baby. Oh, that made him want to eat it right there. It's just a reaction strike every time. It's just a reaction that fish has to it. I'll just pop it in front of his face and then he just wants to eat it immediately.
See right there, I just landed on his tail. Oh, I just bumped him in the head and he just ate it. He's got it halfway. He just won't eat it all the way. Golly, dude. I was just waiting. He literally sat there and was holding that thing for so long. But he had half of it out of his mouth. So I didn't think he had it all the way. Oh my gosh, he just ate it again. He's got it halfway again. Oh, I can catch him now. That's 100% guarantee. You just have to bump him and make him angry. Literally, I bumped him twice and he ate it both times. I might could have got him on the first the first one. I'm not sure. Kind of hard to tell, but the swim bait was definitely halfway out of his mouth. Got him. I don't know how good he's hooked. Yeah, I didn't think he had it good. Oh, that's what I thought. I didn't think he had it good enough. He didn't. Oh, gosh. He was pulling against me. I had no other choice but to set the hook. And he came off. I'm going to see if I can get him again. It's just hard for me to see. I mean, I can't really see anything besides the white. I don't know if he'll hit the white again. I'm just going to have to perfectly nail it right in front of his face and get him to eat it all the way. I guess. I don't even know. Try the green stroke of crawl. See what will happen with this. it! he just ate it. Crap, I screwed up. Whenever he ate it, I popped my rod instead of setting the hook. I didn't realize he had it. He's got it. Oh, gosh. Finally got that one. Oh my gosh. After how many times I've missed this thing, Oh my gosh, finally got him on the dang stroker crawl. He, I've been casting to him. He ate it right over there. He's been sitting in these weird spots. He just kind of moves around, just eats it in different places. It's just a reaction bite every time. This is going to be our last fish of the day right here. It is getting dark. Probably about a nice one and a half or maybe a one and three quarters. Nothing crazy big. Oh no, it's a two pounder, just like I said. 2.05 this is going to be our last fish thank you guys for tuning into today's episode hope that everybody enjoyed and learned some stuff and we will catch you in the next one see you jimbo